Hello everyone, it is a beautiful Sunday morning, it is January 2nd, we've been working very hard on this, we got the deck roughly built, we have to degrease everything and sand on some of the pipes, deburr everything and get this thing ready to paint. I am absolutely in love with how this turned out. Here is the framework here, all of that lumber over there uh, goes on this and creates a folding deck. These rails here on the sides of the deck in the front flip over this way. I can loosen these C clamps that I welded to the frame. I got those from Harbor Freight for like a dollar a piece. And then this flips upward and is stowed away on the back here. And you use this winch here to raise and lower the deck. What we need to do now is deburr everything, degrease everything, and sand these rails here because there is some black coating on them. I want to make them nice and smooth and then we will reassemble this. So let's get to it. Okay, we got the deck off the back of the trailer. Now we are ready to start painting it. I'm going to move it that way just a little bit now that the trailer is far enough away from the deck so it doesn't get any overspray on it. The plan is to paint the top side, flip it over, paint the bottom side, then flip it back over and put the finishing coat on the top side. It's gonna be quite the process. In the words of Morgan Freeman, get busy living or get busy dying. Okay, we got the top side painted. Looks really good. Now we need to flip it over to the bottom, and we will flip it over and do the top one more time. Okay, I had to get my niece Talitha's help because we saw that I only got it halfway and uh, it was just something that I couldn't control on the way down. Now we're going to spray this uh, bottom part three, three times and we're going to flip it back over and give everything a finishing coat. Had to get my niece's help again. Talitha, if you're watching, thank you. I planned to get it on video of us flipping this thing, but uh, I forgot to, so whatever. <laughs> what we're going to do now is apply the finishing coat, so I'm pretty much going to paint all of this one more time. Had a slight design change. The uh, little rod that went through the top of these C-clamps, uh, it got all gummed up from the paint, and it took me about five minutes just to get that one up that high so I said nope we're going to have to weld nuts to the top of this which is something I thought about doing when I welded these to that uh, however I wanted to make it so that this deck could be set up without any tools uh, so it's going to be a little annoying to have to pack a battery drill I'm not going to use an impact because that would uh, over tighten this and possibly break those 
Uh, it's a small compromise to make having to carry a battery drill, but it must be done in order to move forward. So I just went ahead and welded some nuts to the top of those. Let's keep going. What we're doing now is remounting the deck. I've got a few screws to put in and uh, loop the cable around it and have it held up by the cable. Got it installed, we have to put in a few more bolts. Uh, <laughs> I just love how it looks on there. It's gonna look so much better with the wood. So what we need to do now is flip up these guardrails here. And then we can start by putting in the, uh, the wood and everything. It's coming along, we're almost finished. We're in the home stretch, let's keep going. Okay, we got our boards all sanded. Let's start laying them in. And here is the finished product. I'm really happy with how this came out. These rails are nice and sturdy. They do have a little give in them, but to be honest, they're just there so you can uh, see that there's an edge. You're not really supposed to, you know, lean up against them, but they will take it if you do that. Front one's nice and sturdy too. I just love how this came out. It's beautiful. I love the wood. I was a little worried that there would be uh, too much give in the steel that I drilled through, but to be honest, that takes it just fine and it doesn't even look like it's bending it down. So <laughs> yeah, and another idea that I came up with, when this is folded down, these double as lantern holders. Just click the citronella lantern right in there and you're good to go. You can have two of them. Now let's fold up the unit and see how well that works. I've already tested it, but I want to show you guys. All in all, this was a really fun part of this big camper project. There's a lot of work that goes into building a camper, and I will be happy to document every step of it for you guys. I'm going to clean up the shop here a little bit and then head out. We hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one.